Wrapped in all the nostalgic feel-good stories of farming is a simple truth. Sometimes farming is flat out hard. Through the course of a season, there are times when a busted shear pen can mean acres go unplanted or unharvested. Times when a blown tire can mean cattle go unfed. Sometimes it's the conditions, sometimes it's expectations. Maybe the goal is to survive. Maybe it's to take your operation further than even you expected. In either case, when you look at what it takes to do that, to keep farming as hard as you want with as little interruption as possible, one thing becomes clear. If you farm harder than anyone else, you better be a Firestone farmer. Bias or radio? Trying to determine which farm tire option is best, let's look at some of the key benefits. When it comes to farm tires, opting for the investment that ensures long-term results is the best way to go. Firestone radial farm tires are designed to wear longer than bias farm tires, carry higher load capacities, and use less fuel. With longer footprints that distribute weight more evenly to reduce soil compaction across a wide range of soil conditions, our radial tires ensure that farms yield a healthy crop year after year. An improved shock absorption and traction offer a smoother on-road experience and less slippage. If you're looking for high-performing and trusted tires, visit your local Firestone dealer for tires that are made to last. Hello, my name is Makia James and I'm a training manager with Firestone. Today, we're out here to discuss AD2 technology and a lot of people are confused on exactly what that is. Tom, can you tell us what AD2 technology is? Makia, yeah, sure. So AD2 technology is, is advanced deflection design and mm -hmm. that's our sub-branding or co-branding for this IF and VF technology mm -hmm. and that is an industry standard that's been in out in the marketplace in, in the tire world for probably eight to ten years uh, and we're still educating farmers and, and users and growers as to what that really means but the, 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 the meat of it all is an IF tire, a tire with the IF nomenclature on it will allow you to run at a same inflation pressure as a standard radio but carry 20 percent more load and there's a VF the next standard above that that'll allow you to carry 40% greater load, again, at that same pressure that a radial tire, standard radial tire can carry. So I also understand that there is options where you can carry at lower inflation pressures. Is that true? Exactly. So the, the, the reverse of that is also true. So not only carrying more load at the same pressure as a radial, but if you're, if you're standard radial, if you're satisfied and have the load you need, with the IF tire, you can carry that at a reduced pressure. Okay. So carrying that same load at a reduced pressure, uh, and VF, of course, that much more, but either one, it allows you to, the tire to deflect more, it allows the footprint to elongate, mm -hmm. and that gives you a bigger footprint, which means less ground pressure overall, because the square inches or the area is larger, and it puts more lugs in the footprint and really provides better traction efficiency and all those things for the farmer. Well, that sounds awesome. Thank you so much, Tom, for sharing that information with us. And remember, farm hard.
Hello, my name is Makia James and I'm a training manager with Firestone. One of the most common things we hear about are issues with the tires, when in fact it's not a tire issue, it's an inflation pressure issue. Joe Woodworth, can you tell us why it's, imp it's important to have your tires properly inflated? That's a great point you brought up. A lot of times pressure maintenance can be the reasons our tires don't perform the way the customers and we intended. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got this little Schrader valve right here. We all saw them when we were kids on our bikes. Mm -hmm. Those are not to be neglected. Yeah. Inflation pressure is how tires work. It tensions the ply cords and it carries the load. Mm -hmm. If you have too much inflation pressure, you're not getting the benefits that we bring to the field. You're not getting a bigger contact patch. You're not getting more lugs into the soil and you're, you're wasting the precious power that that, that uh, tractor is putting out. If you have too little inflation pressure, you, you're gonna be stressing the carcass of this tire and it can lead to a premature removal of your tire. It's really important to match the axle load of your machine to, or matching the inflation to the axle load of your machine to get the best performance. The rated inflation of the tire is gonna be down here along, along the rim. Um, that is some, that's a rated inflation. It's important that customers get their axle load and make sure that they match their inflation to their axle load. Thank you, Joe. And for more information on this, you can go to firestoneag.com and check out our inflation calculator to find out just the right amount of inflation pressure you need in your tires.